Let's oh, talk sure. about the Niners on offense. What are they going to? How are they going to come out in this game? The Chiefs have statistically the best pass rush in, in the NFL in terms of sack percentage. I know they lost Charles and Manny Houston was not as good, but it's still good. It's dominant. It's the Niners tough. every time they faced a D line like this, they've kind of blinked and lost their identity early. What do you think is going to happen? Chris Jones has hurt them every time he's played them because oh. he's just he's a beast. So big that there's not a lot that you can do. Even when he doesn't get a rush, he can still tip the ball. And yeah. he can be a problem that way too. So for the Niners, I think that what you have to do is Kansas City's 28th against the run. You got to run on them. No matter what they show, run. And I think that's the mistake that Todd Munkin ran is that he didn't run the ball enough. He didn't give the ball to his backs. They became one dimensional. And then now you're playing right into Spagnolo's hands. So for the Niners, what I think they have to do is run, you know, toss left a lot and just count on what you do well and go strength on strength as Harbaugh would. You have to do that. Then beyond yeah. that, you're going to get a lot of blitzing and you have to be prepared for it. And they do a lot of simulated pressure. So I think that they need to work the horizontal game and the short game. You need to have a rhythm that's established by throwing short all game. It, this game is five to 10 yard chunks. I have a feeling they're going to do what other teams have tried to do to the Niners, make them one dimensional. Show an eight-man front, show a five-man line, show a six-man line, and get Kyle Shanahan to say, okay, well, I have to pass against that. Great. Become a drop-back team. That's what we want you to do because we have the best pass rush and you don't have a good you don't have good pass protection. So let's play that game. Uh, I could see the Niners doing that. I mean, that's what they've done when they've faced dominant D-lines. All of a sudden, first play of the game, you see Brock Purdy in the gun, in the pistol, and right. he stays there most of the game, and it's a lot of – uh, tosses to the outside from the gun and throws horizontally. I don't know. They won that way against Philly, but they were going to win anyway against Philly. Philly was dude. Philly's back seven was so bad. There's yeah. you almost couldn't help but win. You almost couldn't but help I, but win. It didn't work against Baltimore at all. Right. Well, no. and Baltimore did such a good job of masking intent and bringing secondary players and blitzes, and the Niners didn't know what to expect. So I think what they have to do is establish a quick passing game so that the blitz doesn't matter. You need to give Brock know. just his chances just to get into a rhythm and take advantage of the fact that you've got the best yak players in the league. Get him the ball in space. Sounds like Debo has to have a really big game. He does. I think he's he's the key to the game offensively. Debo's going to have to yeah. be big. Yeah, I mean, McCaffrey's great, great running back and a, a very good receiver too, but when it comes to throwing little screen passes or little swing passes, I'd rather throw to Debo than McCaffrey. I think Debo's even more dangerous. Because he can break tackles. McCaffrey's yeah. strength is that he plays off his blockers and sets up his blocks beautifully. He's yeah. the best in the league at setting his blockers up. So yes. with McCaffrey, you want blockers in front of him. With Debo, you just give him the ball in space and let him go to work. It's a different thing. Yeah, he just runs over people and hurts them. I mean, yeah, it looks painful. Anything it else on offense is. you want to? I mean, what about Ayuk? Ayuk's been their X factor all all year, but he's more of a downfield threat. I feel like it could be dangerous trying to force him the ball against this defense. It is. Well, this defense takes away the receivers. It's what they do best. So you need to to emphasize going to Debo, McCaffrey, and Kittle. It is they have arguably the best combination, the best duo of corners in the league. So I think with Ayuk, it's it's more a question of just. What can you do in scheming it up to free him? Or can you take a couple of deep shots just to keep them honest? Yeah. But I don't think that Ayuk's going to have the level of game or the impact that he did in the first two games.